hi guys and welcome back to the channel so today is the 10th of December and I'm here with the team from Motec this is the boss himself it's a link up. It's a link up. It's a can link you up. can you brief us on what we'll be doing today oh we are just uh, taking a trip to Molly okay uh, it's been an old trip we had to take but this is the time we are, we are, we are, we are doing so we're just driving to Molly yeah, okay Alright, so, alright, yes, so, we have Yaya, we have oh, bad, bad. <laughs> Baron, <laughs> and then, yo, <laughs> you guys, you guys know, you guys, you guys know, it's another day, it's another day, you know, we made a trip to the Amateur Fair and I told you that I guys should watch out for the bullet trip, man. it's about time, and we, we step in, we step in, okay, okay, what should we be looking out for? Charlie, this one here for here right now, no violence because Charlie the road from the Kintapo to Bupe Street. So no need, no need to stretch. I'm gonna be cool driving. What you see here? Yeah, juicy okay. ones. I mean, right. you see the badge, I'm with the life, we're there together. <laughs> All right, that's that's Baron. It's a down time link up. <laughs> and that's yeah, yeah. So. Charlie, you see the Jacob? Uh huh. Already the Jacob. Yes. You see my boots. And then Kevin Beats. Charlie, show them my boots. Yo. This one be 185 horsepower <laughs> on the accelerator. <laughs> All right, so guys, I will keep you updated. All right, thank you. I'll see you. landed in in Koko to meet up with our buddy from Goforidia then we proceed so that's Baron that's Kevin bro where are we where are we now oh, right now at the moment we just finished the Koko bypass and we're waiting for Morris and Kuba we'll be heading towards Mars very soon okay are you enjoying the drive oh tell me and tell you <laughs> So everyone is out here. That's Billy. Billy. That's Billy. Billy. Yeah, the phone. This one, yeah, my yaya, my yaya. And this one, buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. You know how bad beats. Only Uncle Beats. One man, one man. What do you go call this one? I'll let you read up, read up. I beg you. Zoom this. The machine, it has no brains. Use your own. So I beg you. Okay. Uh, we did it together. Life, mm. life, life, life. Better just stay tuned. Okay. All right. All right, so guys, stay tuned. We are currently at the KNUST, KNUST campus. And I have it. All right, so Charlie, I told you guys to stay tuned. Yeah, we just got to our pistol part. Yeah, KNUST. There's IC camp. We just passed by to get some ice cream. So, you know, maybe just continue the chain. So, you guys, stay tuned. Oh, 
Thursday. Go over then. <laughs> Hi guys, we are back again. We just made a pit stop at Danase, yeah, if you can see here, Danase Guayo. We are fueling up and I think one of the guys seems to have a problem. So let's go and talk to the man himself. So Mr. Mo, please tell us what is going on here. What are you currently doing? Um, this car has a bit of a misfire and, uh, okay so we did some checks and we realized that the pearls were working well so that could be a cross okay temporal blocks in the meantime so that you can get us at the station okay in the blocks we should be we should be we should be good okay are you impressed oh yes nice Is this your first time? Is this your first time with me? Yeah, this is my first time. This is my first time outside Kumasi. Okay. Currently, we are in Kintampo on our way to Moli. We are just stopping for a brief time. Then we'll move. Charlie. Okay. 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 Will, will you do this again? Oh, yeah, definitely. Charlie, maybe next week, sir. <laughs> yeah, you, Charlie. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you missing me, right? Yeah, I'm missing you. <laughs> Charlie, you're still a fucking link up, Charlie. <laughs> Run out here, boo. And we just got a tie on the show, so I mean, yeah, I just fix it. I think in the next 20 minutes, we should be done. Now we are going to do the final lap to jump and go dancing. Then we take them straight to Moli. Then we go and rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow, then we go to the, uh, the park of food and go and have a look at the animals. Then from there, violence back to Accra. So you guys just take two. Show us, show us the time. The time. Yes. Bro, what happened to the time? I got this in the way. And I mean, there was no organizer, there was no time. This is around, so we had to just drive this road to go to this place. And this old man is trying to help us out. He gave us a new time. Okay. It is what it is, as you guys can see. It's Molly life. We'll take to the world, and it's still a fucking link up. Stay tuned.
<laughs> Yo, my God. Charlie. Ooh, that. Hey, it's Alan Cop. Charlie, what's up? I do. What do you have? Charlie. Guys, meet Albert. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Uh. What? What's up? Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Hi, it's a fucking What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. Where are we currently? Oh, currently we are Damango. Shout outs to um, Big Cell for holding us down. I mean, yesterday we touched down around 1 a.m. Somewhere at 1 a.m. yesterday. And I mean, the hospitality was great. They gave everybody a room. But you know, some people like <laughs> how that, you know, be. <laughs> we like to sleep in the van. So as you can see, we came already strapped and we can't let this bed go away. So I slept here. Mm. It's all fun. So activities line up for today is yes. so we'll be going to the Moli National Park. I mean, that was the main reason why we came. Like we did this drive tour from there. We'll be going to, if there's more time, we'll make it to Larabanga Mox. Then from there, I think we come back and see some this and around the place so uh shout, big up big ups to big cell even though he's not around i mean his family members did a good job and they really hold us down and i mean yesterday we go here around one and as the time we go here rice and everything was set and see even this morning as you guys can see where is he they said a table so breakfast will happen with that <laughs> that's why they are confirmed 18. <laughs> <laughs> all right so guys um we'll have our breakfast soon and then we'll do our activities so stay tuned the guys are out here Bye. Almost every day, especially when you do the night tour. Night tour. 
can you? And the lion, we can add what I'll show you. Okay. But can... yeah, if you have come, assuming if you are passing the night here and you want us to organize it, it's simple. We started at 7 p.m. So oh. the only thing is that you just book for it. When it is time, we show up, we take you, and we use flight lights to okay. spot the animals. That is how it works. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, well, in the park, there has never been uh, an attack incident. But uh, what I can assure you is, you know, some of the illegal hunters, uh, there are instances poachers hide to go in and hunt, and they were attacked. One was killed by a buffalo. Whoa. And then uh, another, the second person was also killed by a buffalo. But the third one was seriously injured, but he didn't die, he survived. But this was illegal hunting they went to do. Okay, yeah, but no staff have ever, ever been attacked or no tourists have ever been attacked. Okay. Yeah. So this was illegal work and that caused that. So please, um, what are the measures you put in place to avoid poaching? Yeah, there are a lot of measures. In the first place, um, there are men who are on patrol duties. As we are driving, we have different groups that are doing patrols at different areas. Normally we have the morning team, we have the afternoon team and the night team. So we run in shift. So three three times in a day for patrols. Okay. So at least once they are moving at different directions, there is always a hope that yes, we will be able to cover most of the areas. Because um, all the staff are not sentenced in the park headquarters. We have rain camps and staff are specifically stationed there. And they also control in that green pit. So every pit has a number of staff that manage that area to avoid uh, the poaching. So that is these are some of the measures we put in place. And of course, as you are aware, gunshots are not hidden. When there is a shot, the, the sound travel far. So definitely, some of the men will hear, and then we correspond to one another. So we give the GPS coordinate directions, and then we try to combat the area, effect arrest. As we speak yesterday, we arrested two coaches and they are in the custody of the police. So by Monday, we are ready for court. So guys, we are currently at the water hose where the elephants normally come to play. Uh, the tour guides said we might not see the elephants today, but let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe today will be our lucky day. So stay tuned guys. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So it's all our it, and we are here at the Moli Safari. And at the moment, we just saw the how do you call it, the elephants come out. In fact, on our way coming here, uh, this uh, some of the tour guards said we will not meet them because it's too early and that they were not coming. And we told them that we are a lucky group and we make it. And God being so good on our side. See them. They saw us and they came out to drink some water. So you guys should still stay tuned.